I think there was, there was a few reasons for sure, but um, I felt one of the main ones was I came to ASU to, to build, help build something, and I hadn't felt like I had accomplished as much as I could on an individual level um, for this program. So that, that was a huge factor. Um, I wanted to win a national championship so bad. Um, unfortunately, we didn't even get a, a chance at that as, along with the rest of college hockey in the world. Um, and like I said, I had just got married. Um, so I was just trying to, to figure out how to not, uh, not piss my wife off every day. Um, so just a combination of all that. And my brother, I mean, like, th that could have been the last time I ever got to play um, hockey games with, with my older brother. Um, so just, just all of that. And I wanted a degree. I mean, the odds were against me maybe to not, uh, not get a degree in my younger days of life. Um, but I had that opportunity as well. So I wanted, I really wanted to do that. It's taken massive, uh, massive leaps, um, since the first day I got here. Um, when my class was coming in, we knew there was, um, it will be an uphill battle, especially the first, uh, first couple of years. But looking back when I got here freshman year to, to where it is now, I, I can, I can look myself in the mirror and truly, um, truly be happy, um, with where. Uh, me and my class feel like we're leaving the program. I think we've helped build a, a culture that uh, we really wanted here. And um, I think the biggest thing was getting the right group of guys in that locker room. And, and that's what Coach Powers has done. And that's why just last year, especially, and this year, um, we might not have been the most skilled team in the league, um, but we were the closest team in college hockey on and off the ice. And I, I've always said that's why this team has had so much success. Similar to everyone else in, in the world right now, you're just trying to uh, get creative with whatever workouts you can. Um, and I live in a one bedroom apartment, so I really have to get creative. Um, you know, my, my wife's really into fitness and stuff like that. So I, I've been letting her run me through a couple workouts and, and kind of killing me a little bit there. Um, but yeah, just like we just got a, a stationary bike in our, our place now. So just really anything you can do to, to stay in shape and, uh, stay focused on you know the possibility of still playing hockey this year yeah I mean we've had lots of talks it's it's absolutely heartbreaking I mean we we truly believed in our locker room this year that uh, we had a very good chance at winning a national championship I, I said it on the first media day of the year um, so yeah we were, we were definitely heartbroken um, but like I said earlier we can uh, we all feel we can we can look ourselves in the mirror and um, you know, be happy with uh, how much we've helped, um, you know, build the program. Um, so at the end of the day, we're, we're just so grateful for our four years here and um, can't thank everyone enough for, for everything they've done and our coaches and our staff and the fans, Sun Devil Nation and all our hometowns and, and everything. Um, yeah, it's just been, it's been the best four years of our life. Yeah. Um, well, they, they actually offered me a contract at the end of last season. Um, and I went to their development camp, and, and we talked more about that, about my decision to return to my senior year. And um, we built up a really good relationship there. And um, they gave me their word that um, they weren't going anywhere on me, even if I, if I was going back for my senior year. And uh, they truly showed that. They've, they've treated me with nothing but the utmost respect. So um, when me and my – me and my wife and my family uh, made the decision to, to go to San Jose. It was uh, one of the most exciting days of our lives. And uh, a couple of days ago, it was really cool when, when San Jose released it that we've agreed to terms. Um, so now it's just uh, getting my, my name on that paper um, in the very near future. I talk to all my teammates, you know, on a, on a daily basis. So um, at the, the advice I would give is um, – finish the job that we never got the chance to do in our last year and uh, let us come celebrate a national championship with you guys. That relationship will never go away. I always want to keep building that. Um, you know, I plan for, for ASU to be my, my training grounds every off season. I plan to come back here every year and, and train and skate with the boys. And um, yeah, I mean, maybe when my hockey career is over, maybe coach powers will recruit me to come be an assistant coach. So, so who knows? But yeah, I definitely want to continue to build it.
first time I saw Brinson skate was at the world junior a challenge in, in Toronto. We, we, uh, it was in our hybrid year, uh, in his last year at junior. Um, so that would have been what 15, 16. Um, we, we had just played, you know, at RPI myself and Alex Hicks drove up to Toronto from RPI. Brinson was actually still committed to Vermont at that time. So we went up to actually recruit and watch his, his now teammate and classmate, Tyler Bush. And so that was the first time we saw Brinson play and he was committed. So we weren't really ISO camming him, but the two kids to me that stuck out on that team were Brinson and Kale McCarr. And, uh, and then, and then just a couple of months later, Brinson became available and we obviously jumped all over it and threw our hat in the ring and, and put it all an all effort into to trying to make him be a sun devil and, and steam with him, And, and uh, it worked out. I mean, it's certainly in our, and we're still in our infant stages, obviously. And, and Princeton's now our second player to, to sign an NHL contract and, or he hasn't signed yet, but he's agreed to terms. He'll be our second to do that. Um, so it just obviously what it does from a credibility standpoint, as far as our ability to assist in developing players to reach their goals as a hockey player, um, it builds that credibility. You know, I think it's important to stay that, you know, Brinson showed up to Arizona State as an already elite player. Um, you know, where he where he developed the most was just as a human being and as a person, and 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 that's what we're most invested in with our players. But um, you know, he, what he's done and, and the performance that he had on the ice for us throughout his four years and gradually getting better and culminating to a day like today, it, it certainly helps us build credibility as a program.